Well, the second candidate for president of Bemidji's two colleges paid a visit on Tuesday. Dr. Al Thompson came from the University of Wisconsin's Stevens Point to hit on a number of topics, but paid special attention to diversity. He talked about the importance of bringing more Native American students to Bemidji State and Northwest Technical College through outreach. CollegeFactual.com says just under 3% of Bemidji State University's undergrad population is of Indian heritage, and if he gets the job, Thompson wants to bump that number up to 10. We have to retain them because of the Native community. Our students the same way at Stevens Point. They have very cultural things they need to go back home for. So we need faculty to be understanding of those cultural understandings of being people back home. Secondly, we have to have feel like home here. I saw it, I drove by last night and I saw the beautiful center we had. That I mean from the outside it looks beautiful. It was still lit up, but I don't think anybody was in there, but um, I almost got out to go walk in. Yeah. <laughs> but um, you have a beautiful center. Take that and use that as a plus. Make that the attraction point to bring people here. Thompson addressed concerns about what kind of role an athletic department should have at a school like Bemidji State too. He says sports, especially hockey, can be used as a recruiting tool to attract students, but the money can be a problem. Hockey is a very expensive sport, very expensive, uh, but it's part of your culture here, and you just can't wipe it out. But the question is, is the athletic department the right size, or should it be smaller? I don't know. I would have if I was president, I would have to dig further into that. But the financials I looked at, that would be one of the question marks of can this campus handle or absorb the size of an athletic department it currently has. And in terms of marketing, Thompson floated the idea of BSU billboards further south on Minnesota highways. He says doing so could help attract potential students to Bemidji. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.